idea that things are going to get broken or lost. Who's going to help me? Ah! Terrible! <laughs> <Pebble. laughs> Often calling people like, hey, can you help? And then they show up after I'm already done doing it myself. So, work. <laughs> Packing things so they don't break or whatever. I think that's always kind of a annoying. Because then things break anyway. Like, despite my best efforts, they'll always be breaking. So it's like kind of just like a lost cause for thinking about. Yeah. Usually walk ups, you know, not having an elevator, not having the right tools to walk and lift, you know, dollies or whatever. Decluttering and getting rid of stuff. So you're like, why do we still have it here? <laughs> you know, stuff from grade school, high school, college. Why do we still have it? So it's just the lugging everything around, trying to get everything in order, like organized, getting people to help, and yeah. getting the, uh, the transportation and everything. Oh, it was good to have a, a moving company. You know, with um, our friends getting older and stuff, bad backs and stuff, so you don't want that. So I think it was a positive experience. I think that, you know, they knew what they were doing, so, you know, a lot of apartments or places here are pretty uh, tight and difficult to get things up into, so it was good. It was quick. Definitely, because I don't like dealing with, like, getting people and stuff to drive in. Yeah, definitely. 100%. After adding up all the costs of renting a truck, a storage unit, like all the things that I did when I was moving myself, it probably might have made more sense. And like having friends not show up to help, it might have made more sense to, to hire a company, moving company. But it was just something that I just didn't think of because I was like, I can do it myself. Like, yeah. Like, I always want movers to make us sense. I was like, no, no, we can do it ourselves. I'm like, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> yes, when I make more money. <laughs>